guys this is ETA Prime back again today I'm going to show you how to install Retro Pi and set up MAME on your Raspberry Pi 1 or 2 I'll go over setting up your controllers your insert coin buttons and your start buttons so first off we need to download the image I'm using Windows 10 so I'm going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge and you want to go to any search engine and type in Retro Pi this is going to take you to the RetroPie project. I'll have all the links in the description. You want to go ahead and hover over your RetroPie project, scroll down to downloads, and you want to go ahead and download the RetroPie image that suits your Raspberry Pi. I have a Raspberry Pi 2. I'm going to go ahead and download this. Now version 3 has made it a lot simpler for you guys to set up your controllers and everything within RetroPie. Awesome. So I've already downloaded it. And depending on your version, make sure if you have a Raspberry Pi 1, download the Raspberry Pi 1 image. If you have a 2, do the same. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. Now I have placed my RetroPie image on my desktop in a folder. It comes zipped. I've already unzipped it. Now what I need to do is find out what SD card I have inserted into my computer. Now I am using a USB to micro SD card adapter and my SD card is named boot. So I'm going to go ahead and format this card correctly. So I have downloaded SD formatter version 4. This, all of this will be in the link in the description. It's all free, no malware, no viruses. You want to make sure you have the right SD card or the right drive marked here. Now mine is F. I'm going to go ahead and format. It's going to ask me if I would like to. Yes. Yes. Now as you can see, I'm back to 8 gigabytes. I'm going to go ahead and exit. Then I want to open up Win32 Disk Imager. Make sure you have the correct drive SD card selected. Mine is F. Then you want to navigate to where your RetroPie image is. Now mine was on the desktop, so I'm going to go ahead. Now everything's loaded up. Drive F, that's correct. I'm going to go ahead and write to the card. Now this is going to take about five minutes. I got a slow SD card, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. I am definitely sure I would like to install. Okay, the write was successful. Before we install any ROMs on the Raspberry Pi, we need to go ahead and take the SD card from the computer and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. All right, now the Raspberry Pi is booting up. I am using a Xbox 360 wired controller connected to the USB port on the Raspberry Pi 2. Now on first boot, it's going to detect my gamepad and I need to configure the gamepad. Now this is configuring the gamepad for the front end of the emulator, for the front end of RetroPie to navigate the menus. So we want to go ahead and hold the A button and follow the directions. Up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y. Now my right button doesn't work for some reason. Left thumb is the R3 stick, which would be pressing in your analog sticks. All right. So with the new RetroPie 3.0, we have a couple new features here, which is pretty awesome. We don't have to go back and type in any code to get to uh, your controller configuration screen. So you want to navigate over to the RetroPie. Now I'm going to go ahead and configure 
the Raspberry Pi configuration, which is the Raspi config. Old school, we used to have to boot, type in Raspi config, and then it would get right there. We have the option right here, no problem. I want to go ahead and click A on your controller. Now this is going to take us to the Raspberry Raspi config screen. Now you're going to need to use your keyboard to navigate this screen here. I'm going to go ahead and expand my file system. I'm not sure if you have to, but I always do anyway. Then, if you would like to overclock your Raspberry Pi, uh, you can. I'm not sure if it voids the warranty or not. So now I am on the Raspi 2, Raspberry Pi 2. So it goes to 1 gigahertz, 1000 megahertz. And then I want to go to advanced options and I want to do a memory split. Now I always set this up for since I have one gigabyte of RAM in the Raspberry Pi 2, I do 256 megs dedicated to the video. Now we just down to keyboard, write, write, finish, yes. So now I'm rebooting. All right, it's booting back up to the RetroPie front end. So now we have the Raspberry Pi overclocked and the memory split set to 256. This should give you no problems with running any of these emulators. There should be no lag. Like I said, this is a Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, I have not tried this new system on the Raspberry Pi 1. We want to go back to Retro Pi, and then we want to configure our RetroArch keyboard and joystick. Now this will set up the controller or keyboard, depending on what you want to use, within MAME. So we want to go ahead and configure this. It'll take us back to a configuration screen. And you need to use your keyboard to navigate this menu here. So I'm going to go ahead and configure my Xbox 360 USB controller. So I, I would like to. Only one controller that you want to program. So we got the B button, Y button, select, start. D-pad up, down, left, right, A, X, L, R, L2, R2, L3, which is your thumbstick, push down, right thumbstick, push down. Now this left analog, right, left, down, up. Right analog, right, left, down, up. Press enter on your keyboard. Now your controller should be set up to work inside of the emulators. So now let's install some ROMs. Let's go back to the PC. And I'll show you how to do this. You're going to need a clean USB stick. Now you're going to need a USB stick of two gigabytes on up will work. You want to insert it into your PC. You want to find the USB stick that you just inserted. I believe mine is a, a E. And you want to create a folder inside of the USB stick and name it Retro Pi. Now we're going to go back and insert the USB stick into the Retro Pi, into the Raspberry Pi. And when it stops flashing, we will pull the USB stick from the Raspberry Pi and reinsert it into the computer. Now what this does is it automatically sets up all of the emulator file paths on the USB stick to put your ROMs on. So it's done flashing. I have inserted it back into my PC. So this is the file, the folder that we just created and the Raspberry Pi has done the rest. So we want to open up our ROMs folder. Now these are all the emulators that are included with the Retro Pi. So we're just going to set up MAME. I want to go to MAME for all. Now I have a few ROMs 
within my folder here that I'm going to go ahead and drag over. And I believe you just need the zipped ROMs. All right, so now we're going to go back to the Raspberry Pi and you should have your name ready to run. We have a few more steps to set up your insert coin and player start. Okay, we're back at the Raspberry Pi on the RetroPie main menu. And the USB stick that you just created, you want to insert it back into your Raspberry Pi. And when the light stops flashing on your USB stick, if it has a light, if not, I'd wait about a minute. Now we want to reboot the Raspberry Pi. So we'll go to quit, restart system, and now we should be, let's go ahead and restart. All right, now that we're restarted, we should see a MAME emulator menu. A few more steps and you'll be running main games. All right, so let's scroll on over and that did work. So we're at the main four games available, the four ROMs that I placed in the folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with, let's say the Simpsons. All right, now that we're here, we want to set up a player one start button and an insert coin button. So we're going to go ahead and hit tab on the keyboard that is connected to the Raspberry Pi. And we want to hit enter and put general. And we want to go ahead and scroll down to player one start. I'm going to use my left R3, which is analog button down. Push down on the analog stick. So we hit enter. Push down on the analog stick. Now we need to set an insert coin button. Enter. And I'm going to use the R3 button, which is you push down on the right analog joystick. And then hit exit. So now, insert a coin, and start. Now this is, those buttons are mapped for all the games that you want to play. to your menu. So let's go back. Let's go to Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. So like I said, insert, coin, push start. Let's check that out. Now you should be set up to run any main game that you like. There's a lot of main games that do not work with the Retro Arch uh, main emulator. It's kind of trial and error. A lot of a lot of the older stuff does work. Uh, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and stuff like that. I, I have not been able to get to work. I'm not sure. I haven't even been able to get it to work on the PC version. So now that you're set up with your main, everything should work fine. You can set up all of your in-game keys, your controller, uh, your insert coin buttons, and your start button. Go ahead and blast the sucker. Yeah. Never mind. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, hit that like button and subscribe. If you got any questions, just let me know in the comments or private message me. Be no problem. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can.
Thanks for watching.